Hello friends. In the in the previous video, we discussed about the problem statement where we uh, we are asking for designing a stock exchange matching engine crossing functionality. And if the matching is not happening, then we'll store the order in the order book and wait for the next order if the match is happening. So just to re revise a bit that about the order book that we discussed that what is the price time priority that we're going to implement. So as discussed before, uh, the price time priority was like this, that for the buy orders, the highest price buy order will be getting the higher priority. And if there is there are two buy orders having the same buy price, in that case, the order which arrived earlier, that will be given higher priority. So this is what price time priority is. For sell orders, it's opposite. For the lowest, uh, the sell order with the lowest price would be getting the highest priority. And if there are two sell orders with the same price, the lowest price, uh, then uh, whichever order has arrived earlier, that will get the higher priority. So this is the basic of price time priority. So this is an uh, an example order book, uh, which is uh, based on the on the like a buy order priority, which is having the highest priority would be uh, placed in this accordingly. For example, we can see that there are three buy orders, and the one which at the, at the top the order ID five, which is getting the highest priority because the price of it is is the highest twenty dot two zero. This is higher than 20.15 for the other two orders. That's why this five order ID is the high, is the highest or prior priority uh, order book uh, by order in our order book. And similarly for the sell price, we can see that the price with the lowest sell price 20.25 is given the highest priority. So the one at the middle is, is getting, getting the higher priority. And the spread here is 0 0.05, which is the difference between the best buy order and the best sell order. The difference between these two is called uh, the buy or buy uh, sell spread. Uh, and you can see also also see that the price, uh, the orders with the same price, the one order, the order which arrived earlier, for example, for this order ID one, it arrived at 901 time, although the price is same as order number three, uh, as 20.30, but still, because the one which arrived earlier will get the higher priority. So that's why order ID one has got a higher priority than order three, because it arrived earlier. Similarly, for buy orders, as we can see, although the price is same as 20.15, but still, um, but, but since uh, this uh, order ID four, it arrived earlier at nine zero six, and order six arrived at nine zero nine. That's why nine zero six got a higher priority. That's why it is placed like this. I mean, the one at the top is having the highest priority, and as we go down for the buy orders, it would be having the I mean the priority would be lowered. Similarly, for the sell order, the one at the at the lowest point, this is having the high, highest priority, and when once we go up in the order book for the sell orders, it, the priority will reduce. Now this was the problem statement. Now let's go through the algorithm uh, what that that we're going to implement. And let be, first of all, we will try to like uh, just build a matching order uh, like the, this functionality, functionality uh, by just implementing it in a correct way as is expected. Later on, we will dive into like how we can improve the performance. So let's first of all have the basic algorithm first. Now this is the matching engine algorithm. Let's go to the, uh, each of the points one by one. Maintain two data structures. Uh, I'll call it as TS which can be any array, list, or queue for both buy and sell orders. As we have seen in our diagram, right? So that, for example, uh, here, for sell orders, we need a different type of price time priority because the lowest sell order has got the highest priority. And only for buy, the highest sell order would be high, uh, highest uh, price uh, buy order would be having the higher priority. So that's why we need to maintain two data structures, both for separately for buy and sell orders. Now let's go to point number two. So whenever a new order arrives, whether it's a buy order or sell order, first of all, we will simply add it to our data structures, whether we are using array list, whatever. So we will simply add the order to uh, our data structure. So if it's a buy order, then we have to uh, add it to, the, to our uh, buy orders data structure. Uh, let's call it a list, for example. For uh, And for the sell orders, whenever we sell a sell order, we will add it to our sell order data structure. Okay, let's go to the third point. Now, this is the most important point, most important point, because uh, as we know that for buy order, we have to put it in our data structure in such a way that the highest priority priced order is at the head or index zero. That that would be like, uh, uh, so whenever we want the best order to match, right? Then we can always look at the head or the or at the index zero. For example, if you're, if you're using a list, in that case, index zero or the head should be the highest priced or the highest priority order. Similarly for sell, we have to sort the sell orders in our data structure in ascending price order. Because so that I mean, uh, by default, uh, if we just uh, have work, if we have worked for any like a common uh, like a sorting algorithm, by default, in most of the Java APIs, everything is by default ascending order. 
so only for buy order we have to choose uh, like a descending price order because the highest price order should be at the top at the head and some and for sell orders uh, we have to we already i mean if we just do a basic sorting based on price and time priority in that case uh, the head should be having the highest priority which is the lowest price order for sell now for the fourth point which is the most important that how to match the orders now once we have arrived the order when we added to added to our data structure or a list whatever and then we have sorted the order based on the priority then we have to see whether we can match the orders or not so matching can only happen if the head of the orders i mean the head is where the we as we discussed that uh, the highest priority orders would be uh, sitting at the head of both of the data structures so first of all we have to check that whether the head of the uh, of the order that is for buy orders the buy price is greater than or equal to sell price only then it will be able to match if it's not going to match then we have to simply exit out of the loop and then we can just place because we have already placed the order before so we don't need to do anything now we have to wait for the next order to do the matching for doing the matching but in case if the order which have which was added recently it has got the buy price is greater than or equal to the sell price then we will do the matching for example here in this uh, we can see that right uh, that uh, buy order price right now with the best buy order price is 20.20 and the best sell price is at 20.25 obviously this is lower than 20 that's why there is no matching only when we uh, send a new order of buy order say suppose which is greater than or equal to 20.25 suppose i send an order of say 20.26 or 20.27 then only the matching is possible similarly uh, for sending a sell order if any order sell order which comes uh, which is lower than or equal to 20.20 only then the matching can happen so once we know that this buy price is greater than sell price it means that we have to do the matching now but for matching we have to take the minimum order quantity from buy sort and sell order and then generate the trade side because uh, say for example i have got a buy order of say uh, 200 at say price uh, 20 and then i got a sell order of say only 100 order quantity then we can only match 100 quantity right we cannot match uh, all the 200 so that's where we have whenever whenever we are matching and generating the trades we have to take the minimum minimum order quantity from both buy order and sell order and use that as the as our trade quantity or the fill quantity so once we take that generate the trades after that the, uh, the uh, c point is that delete that matched quantity from both orders which means that we have already matched that so in our previous example if the buy order was of uh, 200 quantity and sell order was of 100 quantity in that case because 100 uh, is all all filled now we are left with 100 more quantities of the buy orders which are still unfilled so this is what uh, we have to do some calculations and after matching as mentioned that if the order quantity becomes zero then we have to remove that order from the data structure for example in the in the same scenario because the sell order uh, all the 100 quantity was already filled that's why uh, the quantity is zero now we have to remove this sell order from our data structure this is the we have, we have to keep on clicking this and then we have to keep on continuing uh, continuing this a point again unless we have this until we have this uh, feature and uh, this uh, condition matching condition uh, fulfilling so whenever i mean uh, once we remove the sell order i mean again if there are uh, more sell orders uh, in our order book which are having the, which are meeting this condition that the bright price uh, order is still greater than or equal to the sell uh, the best sell price order we'll keep on matching it and generating this until we have got this condition true so guys this was all about the matching engine algorithm let's revise revise it once so we have to maintain two data structures for both buy and sell orders whenever a new order arrives in our order book we have to put we have to add this order based on the buy or sell uh, side we have to add it accordingly to our data structure after that we have to sort our order uh, our uh, our data structure for buy orders we have to maintain a descending price order priority where um, the highest price order would be placed as the at the head or the index zero similarly for for the sell order the lowest price order with the having, having the highest priority that would be placed at index zero or the head then we will see that whether the matching is possible or not what how we can do that we can be a uh, look at the head of both buy order our, our buy order data structure and sell order structure and we'll see this condition if the buy price is greater than equal to sell price only then the matching can happen otherwise we'll just simply exit of the loop so while matching suppose that there is this condition meets then we have to take the minimum order quantity from uh, from uh, buy order or sell order and then detect that filled quantity that is our filled quantity and we have to detect that filled quantity from our orders and after detecting it uh, if the order quantity becomes zero for whatever for buy order or or a sell order we have to remove that from our data structure from uh, from our uh, buy order data structure or sell order data structure we have to keep on continuing until this condition meets 
So this is all about the, the matching engineering algorithm. In the next video, we will see that how to implement this uh, uh, this algorithm in Java. And uh, our main choice would be that which data structure is best suited for this algorithm. So see you all in the next video.